You'll have to bear with me because I'm recording this from a tent in someone's backyard. And there's a road not too far away, so you might hear car noise. Yeah, and, and I really can't stand the sound of my own voice, but I'm just going to go ahead and, and go forward with it. Um, I wrote a little bit of something here that uh, should serve as an introduction to uh, a poem that uh, I'm going to record. Um, so here it goes. Um, this may sound corny to many of you, but I feel that if I had never known the music of John Denver, I may never have known what it truly meant to be a man. Uh, he was focused, dignified, centered, and strong. My own father was an alcoholic, and those of you who had alcoholics for parents when you were growing up know that having an alcoholic parent can be far worse than having no parent at all. Uh, I invite you to look deeply into John Denver's music because I feel therein you'll find a man who lived and examined, reflected, and a deeply spiritual life. He was a man in the most dignified sense of being a man, what our Native American brothers might call a great spirit. The following poem was written by Kendrew Lascelles and recorded by John Denver in the early 70s on his album Poems, Prayers, and Promises. It was Mr. Denver's recording that I heard as a child and it helped to define my own beliefs about the senselessness of war and killing. Mr. LaSalle was kind enough recently to give me permission uh, to record his poem for the fans of the Julian Day. It's a, a great deal more than in, incredible to be one of the three people that I know of upon whom he's bestowed this honor. I'm in the company of John Denver, and as he was wont to say, I think that's pretty far out. Following is the text of the poem, which I am posting for your reading pleasure. Uh, Following that is my recording of that poem, but if you'd rather hear it recited by John Denver, and I would certainly understand if you did, uh, please, look, please look him up on uh, YouTube, uh, Poems, Prayers, and Promises album. It's the last piece on that uh, monumental record. So here goes. Once upon a time in the land of Hushabai, they came across a sort of box bound up with chains and locked with locks and labeled, kindly do not touch, it's war. A decree was issued round about, all with a flourish and a shout, and a gaily colored mascot tripping lightly on before. Don't fill with this deadly box or break the chains or pick the locks, and please, don't ever mess around with war. Well, the children understood, children happened to be good, and they were just as good around the wondrous days of yore. They didn't try to pick the locks or break into the deadly box. They never tried to play about with war. Mommies didn't either, sisters, aunties, grannies neither, because they were quiet and sweet and pretty in those wondrous days of yore. Well, much the same as now, and not the ones to blame somehow for opening up that deadly box of war. But someone did. Someone battered in the lid and spilled the insides out across the floor. A sort of bouncy, bumpy ball made up of guns and flags and all the tears and horror and death that goes along with war. Well, it bounced right out and it went bashing all about and bumping everything in store. And what was sad and most unfair is that it didn't really seem to care much who it bumped or why, or what, or for. It bumped the children mainly, and I'll tell you this quite plainly, it bumps them every day, and what is more, it leaves them dead and burned and dying, thousands of them sick and crying, because when it bumps, it's really very sore. But there's a way to stop the ball, it isn't difficult at all, all it takes is wisdom, and I'm absolutely sure we could get it back into the box and bind the chains and lock the locks. But no one seems to want to save the children anymore. Well, that's the way it all appears because it's been bouncing around for years and years in spite of all the wisdom whiz since those wondrous days of yore. And the time they came across that box, bound up with chains and locked with locks and labeled, Kindly do not touch, it's war.